so we're in the cheese. kitchen. We're making some pork chops. Barbecue. Barbecue style. Um, with okay. garlic. What I do with the ketchup, I just cut it. Chili powder. We're out of A1 sauce, just so you know. Okay, Lori seasoned salt. Um, we have this teriyaki. We'll see. We'll see about that. Okay, I gotta shake this bottle up. There's a little bit in there. Yeah, but we got eight, eight pork chops. It was a, a family pack that we were given. So I gotta go ahead and get this set up. Ketchup. Right there. Oh, thank you. There's ketchup. Veronica is gonna make some homemade barbecue sauce. So we have chili powder. So she says it's chili powder. And then we use ketchup. ketchup. Did you put lor Lori's on the bar on the? You're frying them in Lori's, so we don't need that, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we use a little bit of the red chili powder. I'm gonna put a little bit of Lori's on this side. Okay. So we have. So we powder and this is how you make homemade barbecue. So there's a little bit of lorries on that. Then Veronica's gonna stir this concoction up. Not yet. It, we still have to add a little bit of sugar. Here it is. No. Nope. No, it's in the big container. Last Here time I remember. Here it is. Can you open it up? There it is. Okay, I gotta open this up. My Hang on a second. Okay, it's open. Here you go. Great, thank you. So that's gonna be a barbecue sauce. I have to taste it first. Okay, I gotta check the other side of these pork chops because I just need them to be brown enough Yeah, that's brown enough. That's brown enough. Now, mind you, I'm gonna put these in the oven. Yeah. So those are almost done. And then once these are done, we're gonna put them in here with these that I'm gonna cook. And then yeah, once this dish is salt. finished, she added more, more chili, chili powder. She added more chili powder to the mix. She's making barbecue sauce. So you use chili powder, you use crushed okay. peppers, and you use sugar and ketchup. Okay, I'm gonna take a break from this and just show you guys what we're doing. We're using a garlic base, minced garlic, as a base with olive oil. And then we go ahead and throw them on there with some lorry seasoned salt, like I said. Some this has garlic in it and chili um, powder and some sauce. And some of these right here. This fresh red pepper. Or red pepper, yeah. Okay, so this is ready for you to right. them. Okay, can we take them out now? Can we take them out? Yeah. Perfect job on the steering. Called steering. Yeah. So now that I got these over here, I'm gonna go ahead and season them with lorries. Fresh red pepper. And some of this stuff right here. Chili powder. Napoleon's in the background, you can hear him. He must have heard something outside. So, so far, so good. We had uh, two tenants move in upstairs. A couple, they speak mostly Spanish. 
They have three little dogs, and so far so good. We're hoping that they can pay their rent on time and be on time, punctual pretty much, like our previous tenant. Which I checked the job references. Yes, we checked all the references and, and they check out the references the were excellent. Yes. But Definitely. like I explained to Jackie, that could be his parents. We don't know who they are. Okay, I need to make more. All right, so that's uh, that's that's how we work on this, you guys. And then we're gonna, like I said, I'm browning them on each side. I'm placing them in the, the casserole dish and we're gonna throw those babies in the oven and hook it up. So I'll show you once the masterpiece is done. So I went ahead and added, added some more minced garlic because I said that's the base. And they're cooking very nicely. Veronica's conjuring up some barbecue sauce. barbecue sauce. And after these three, I have, let me see. Looks like two more pieces to go and then we're done. Two, let me see, one, three. Three more pieces to go and we're done. So we're gonna lay them three, three, and three, no. I don't want to top on that. Okay, you guys, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so all pork chops are browned on both sides and seasoned, and they have the homemade mm, barbecue sauce on them. Barbecue sauce. So they're gonna go in the oven now for one hour, and then I'll show you what they look like when they're done. They're in the oven. I put aluminum foil slightly over them, not completely covered, and I have the temperature set at 380. So we'll show you guys what that looks like when they're done. Okay, the ribs are done. And I'm going to kind of poke at them a little bit to see if they're nice and done. Oh yeah, they're cooked. They're cooked. So I'm going to take a little piece here. sample it so that's it I'll give you the verdict here in a little bit mmm you're good Very good. They're done for one hour, 380 degrees in the oven. After you brown them. Very delicious. Mmm. Yummy. Gotta tell Veronica. Hi, Napoleon. So today we're taking the dogs to the park. Let me uh, show you where they're at. Get in the back. Get in the back. Veronica's coming. Come on. Here they are. There's Lucky Boo. There's Napoleon. We took the mattress out. So it's just the, the board that's here. Okay, we're going to take these babies to the park. We'll see you when we get there. Okay, we're at the park and Lucky stepped on something. I can't find anything on her paw. And... You can see she's not using her paw. Come here, baby. Come here. Let me see. She won't let me near her paw. And it's really hurting her. Veronica wants to take Napoleon out for a walk. I'm going to leave her here and then we're going to check her. I mean, I already checked her and I can't find anything. The only thing I can think of is she probably got stung by a bee. So I'm just gonna leave her here. I'll be back, baby. I'll be back. Okay, Lucky had to stay in the car. Well, we need to get Napoleon out. We're gonna take him out real quick. And it, this isn't where we usually take him. Yeah, but it's closed on the other side. Yeah, but it's not close to pedestrians. No, but we can go that way. We just go through this trail. Okay, let's do that because I want him to be able to run. I just don't want him. This way. 
Look at that tree. Look at the wind. The wind created that when it was still a, I think a we're going tree. this way. This way. Can you see the tree then? It smells like urine out here. A little bit, yeah. See? Look at that. So it was a green it was a greenling. It was a greenie. There's greenie. all kinds of birds and butterflies. Yeah, the bends are from the wind. You can see the trees have bends. Wow, that's a ferocious California storm to freeze that. Yeah, to bend them. Okay. Yeah. Looks like the wind bent them. I know. Well, it'll strengthen them, that's for sure. Look at all the wind. Look at this pine. Because it has more, uh, look, the pine straight ahead. Yeah. See that whole that one. bend on that one? And this one, look, it was crashed down from the wind because it was too young and too uh, fragile. They're all just kind of bent, if you guys yeah. look. it's really sad. But that's nature, you know, we can't change it. It's California, whoever planted them should have taken that into account. Put him on the lead. I think that's a ranger right there. Put him on the lead. I can't hear. Napoleon. I think all messed up. Napoleon. Okay, let me Napoleon. Take a break. Okay, so I let Napoleon go. I said I let Napoleon go, but the part we normally go to, it's closed because it's all flooded. Look. A burnt car part. That's not a good sign. That means it's a burnt car part. <coughs> That's why they burn it. You know that, right? No. Yeah, it's to get rid of the fingerprints. So it's it all flooded. We can't walk over there. It's all flooded, Veronica. Listen to me. It could be violent, it could be sexual. But it's definitely a criminal. Come on, Napoleon. When you fire it, it destroys it because of the natural oils we have in our body. So if you guys see burnt car parts, that's not a good sign. Well, Veronica saw a burnt car park, but this is a door. This is where we normally park down here. And it was a door, so you know that's not a good sign. And it's full of water, and it's so muddy down there. I would go on the grass. I would walk to the edge of the water and back. No, just they, he's already muddy. Let's just let him do his thing. We'll go to the park. So a student can hear my cane without looking back where I am. They're hearing it like at least 200 times. Did you know that? Yeah, I know their hearing is like superb. And our hearing diminishes the older we age. But he's at a peak because he's only a year old. Napoleon! Good boy. My baby. My boy. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, like I couldn't be here. It's heart wrenching. But she's nursing her paws. Baby. I wonder what she got on I don't know. We're going to have to check. Bushes. We're going to check closely. And we're going to have to carry her to the park area. We should take them back See, now. These they wrap them. But over there they had the thorn bushes. You think he's gotten enough running? Not yet. Napoleon! It's too muddy. Honey, it's too muddy over here. No, it's not. I'll wash your freaking shoes. When you're a parent and you are a parent as a child, he has a seven year old mentality, Jack. Yeah, but I'm also worried about Lucky. We left her alone in the car. I know, but she's nursing her wounds. Something. Um, it's going to take her a minute for her to uh, chew them out, but she'll chew them out. Next time we're going to have to carry her until she gets over here. Okay? If you want, you can go back to Lucky and I'll stay here with Boya. I just need the leash. It's not a leash, it's called a lead. 
Hello. Hello. Come on. See how good he is? He stops when I stop. Well, he needs to learn. He is learning. He's doing really good. And at 14 months old, he is still a puppy, Jackie. His mentality will never grow beyond a seven-year-old child. I don't know if you know what seven-year-old children are, but you've got to really restrict their movements because they want to be free. I had a three-year-old boy, Stephen, and I was sleeping. I fell asleep around midnight. I woke up at six in the morning because I have my alarm on to make sure I'm awake when he wakes up. No, who's Stevie? My son. Well, she's talking about her son. And, um, what she rarely talks I woke about. Up, I woke up and he's three years old and he literally um, wandered out into the, he unlocked the, the um, front door because I had locks on them. He unlocked, and that's how smart they are. He unlocked them and got, got out of the property gate and um, unlocked the gate. And then he went to, he had put a stool to get the house locks off. That's how smart they are at seven. I brought my, oh, uh, it's three, it's three. Cause this is when he My vape pen. Good. My cannabis vape pen. Good. And I have your walking stick. Yeah, it's very beautiful. It, it is gorgeous, and it's the best cane ever. This is very lightweight. It's probably out of a birch, which is a lightweight. I made it out of pine tree. Pine, okay. It's very lightweight. <coughs> durable. We don't utilize it too much. Oh, look at this. Someone loves their babies. So that's the infamous stick that I handmade. It's wonderful. It's absolutely magnificent. Get the toy! Get your toy! You know I've got rubber tips you can put on this. Did you know that? No. Yeah, they're in the pharmacy. Napoleon! We have a pharmacy closet, which is where we keep all uh, medications like ibuprofen, aspirin, allergy pills. You left your, port your toy over here, boyo. Distracted. That's good. Let him have his freedom. That's more important than his toy. Want it? Want it? Let him wander. Okay, boy, go. It's okay. Go ahead and have fun. Okay, I got it. Oh, you're so precious. Did you get his tongue out there? Oh, oh yeah. Look at him. He's so precious. But. He understands he's not going to get it until he's gone, so he moves. Which is what his whole point of us bringing him here is. And of course he has to mark the territory by little urinations. And uh, they smell the postcards. I call them postcards because you can see how intent he is on um, the smells. And he will... Picking the scent. Right. And the scent is on the tree. So whatever that dog is going through that pees on that tree, he can read the emotions. He can tell if the person, if the doggy was scared, I call them people because they're so human-like. But um, he can pick up the scent of fear. He can pick up the, the scent of depression, the scent of happiness, um, the scent of, you know, carefreeness. So dogs are incredibly perceptive. They're, um, Capacity, like I said earlier, is at least 200%. I think it's 250 times more than we have, but it may be even higher than that, maybe in thousands. I don't recall, but it was a lot more than what we have. Yeah, dogs are very smart. So, as you can see, if you're familiar with this area that we usually come to, he smells his own markings. It's flooded, there's ducks in there. Wow. And this used to be a lake a long time ago, but they made it into a park. So when I was a child, this was a lake. Oh, wonderful. It's All beautiful. of this was a lake, big lake. But boy is eating some grass that helps with their digestive system and gets um, nutrition into them. It has vitamins that they need. 
and that's why they eat it. I try to give him greens at home, but um, most of the time he's just not responsive. He likes the grass, and apparently there's some kind of emollient or something that helps the digestive tract. And he sniffs it out to make sure there's no pesticides. Okay, let's walk back. We got a ways to walk back. Come on, boy. That's it. Let's go to the ducks. Come on. The ducks. Oh, come on. You're not in pain like me. I'm fine. I'm open. It's too muddy down there because the water has been receding. We'll run it off by the time he gets to the car. And if he doesn't, oh well, he gets to be a dog. That's the most important thing of all. Let him be natural. This is his, this is his marijuana, recreational marijuana, okay? He's coming out here, sniffing the scents, running toward the ducks. He loves it. It's inbred. I mean, it's something that as they breed the golden retrievers, retriever means to bring back. So you've got the hunters that shoot the ducks and the dogs will bring it to the master, which we don't do because we don't kill animals. <laughs> we feed them. Sometimes we have a thousand dollar veterinary bill. We've done that twice, huh? Yeah, we've done that with our previous dogs. Yes. They're Especially expensive. when Spartacus was dying. Yeah, they are expensive. So we have healthy babies. I'm just worried about Lucky in the car. Yeah, because her feet, the limping that she was doing and the licking. So let me go here with Boyo and I'll bring him back. Okay. All right. Bye, Morgan. Let me say bye to her. Bye, Morgan. Oh, Veronica's talking about Unstoppable Morgan. Yes, I love Unstoppable Morgan. Her website is awesome or whatever. Web her YouTube channel. YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> Look her up. Her she's, Patreon. She's gorgeous. Um, she's unbelievable. She is just brilliant. I adore her. We adore her. Yeah, she's been building out a rig and it looks really good. She lives. And if you have She lives out of her. You know, she lives out of her rig and um, the marijuana. <laughs> I wonder if we can legally do that. Like, yeah. like you know, it's send legal. her. It is send, legal. It is send, legal. Send her weed legally. Yes. There's Boyo rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. <laughs> they, they love that. Yeah, but she's she's uh kind of trying to help us by giving us little mentions here and there for people to subscribe to our channel because we want to monetize. Museum Americana and in order to monetize Museum Americana so that we can get paid for ads and stuff and whatnot on our channel we would have to have a thousand subscribers and right now we're at 357 so call your friends have them be subscribers YouTube has huge money this is all underwater and this is all the latest beautiful depths and parking Wow. Yeah. He's too busy scratching on the grass. Come on, boy. You want me to scratch this thing? Come on. So I want to thank Unstoppable Morgan for that, for giving us shout outs uh, really appreciate Thank that you, we're a patron of hers we follow her on patreon you guys want to see someone <laughs> who's real loves their dogs to death would do anything for her dogs and she's gorgeous she's got three beautiful dogs um miles davis who she rescued recently within the last couple years she has her longtime companions bougie bear um and Buddy Tony. And tell them Buddy uh, Bear. how you lived out of your car. Yeah, I lived out of my car for a while when Veronica first met me. I was living out of my SUV with my dog. And I, what did I do? Um, I want, well, I, I was going to get ready arms. to leave. I ran arms, my arms around you and I said, you stay. Yeah, we got to, that was we the first thing this. I said. And I didn't even really know you. I remember that. We got to cross over here. Woman. <laughs> Come on, Napoleon, we're going back. 
it was the best decision Napoleon. in my life because she's my sister all the way. She's my very best friend I've ever had in life. And I've had best friends. Um, but I'm telling you, well, when Leslie Rettman died in prison, that was a real loss. Look at he's drinking Rep's still water. Left. Yeah. Um, no boil. Boil. Well, it's just rainwater. Yeah. It should be. He's drinking by water. water. And if not, we'll deal with it. Okay, there he goes. He just drink some water. Let's start making our way back to the car because we got a ways to go. Um, look at the holes that they do to penetrate the land. Tell, here, let me say something. Okay, so when you go through parks, you'll notice that there are specific holes. They're not golf holes. They are literally the park and They're for the squirrels. No, the park no. and recreation opens the holes for the grass because otherwise it doesn't absorb it because there's a lot of silt. And silt becomes a clay. So that's why they aerate it. It's called aeration. Oh, like these holes? These are, are all holes, yeah. I this one might the... be a snake. I... No, it looks square. It's not a snake. We have not seen a snake yet, which I don't care because they don't bother me. We've seen coyotes though. Yes, we saw two coyotes once. That was about a week ago. Well, we've seen a total of three here at Did this park. Did you get that on uh, camera? The no. coyotes? No. Yep, there were two coyotes. Well, they were coyotes because of the Singular yeah. is coyote. So, this is our time at the park with Napoleon. Did you get the ducks? Oh yeah. Oh. oh yeah. We're gonna get to see Lucky here pretty soon and find out what's going on with her, with her, um, her left paw, right paw. It was both. Her both left paw. Her. So she's gonna be nursing them. Where is he? We'll examine them with Napoleon. A... Yeah, it's wet over there. He comes right to you. Good boy. Good boy. Good way to Good come back. Boy, my boy. My boy. I love, love, love my boy. You want to go sit down on the bench, honey? Okay, we're going to take a little break. Come on, boy. Let's go to the bench. Okay. Oh, and they have the drinking water. That's great. It's a hollowed out tree. That's amazing. So apparently someone cut it originally, and then the birds nested the tree or the stone squirrel. fell off. I don't know what happened, something like that. No, it looks like a Come on, Napoleon. It's too flat. Let's go, we gotta go. This is a cool tree. So when that was developing, the wind was a huge factor. That's why they bend whichever direction the wind was. So it was coming in uh, north. Coming north, west. Here's Napoleon. Come on, Napoleon. We gotta find our path back. Okay, you guys. Oh, there's a rope up there. He saw a squirrel. No, it's the rope too. You can smell. That someone uses a rope to climb the fence, probably. Or to put their dog on it. Oh boy, oh, you smell the dog. I know, come on, baby. Okay. Here, sit down. That's your friend. Oh man, it's so muddy here. They don't care to sit down, but Veronica wants to sit down. <laughs> well, you guys, want to thank you for watching this video. Wait, show them the hole in the tree. <coughs> and do one last pan. The hole in the tree? Yeah, and do a pan. I know. That. Calm down. Relax. I got this. Well, I was a filmmaker. Okay. I went to school for it.
beautiful day at the park. He's jumping still to get the squirrel. Oh, he is relentless. And he can jump. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that jump. Wow. Oh, boy. Oh. Well, you guys, thank you for watching our thank video. You. Subscribe thank to you. our channel if you haven't. Remember, we're on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And God bless you all. All right, you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.